ArchiFrame blocks changes.xml, setting the 3D material and adjusting other settings such as ID generation. In this video, we'll adjust the settings to have a nice surface material and a different way of showing the ID for planks in the floor plan. So let's first adjust the settings in ArchiCAD and then put those settings into the XML settings themselves. Open settings, show all parameters. Instead of showing just the ID, let's show the ID and the size of the plank. This is controlled in the object's parameter ID generation text. To see what options we have, let's check the online manual. I have searched for the term in question and the second item gives me the best description. Here is a list of all the options inside square brackets to be used in the ID generation text. Let's copy the part that we want to use. And then, instead of showing just the ID text, let's add a rectangular frame around the text by entering the number 2 here. Then there is the ID frame rectangle fill pen. If it is 0, the object's default pen will be used, and then we will have black text on a black background. So let's set this to white instead. And here we have the result. Then let's add a wood type surface material. Let's search for the wood materials and use this one. Here we have it using a nice pine texture. Then to get this all automatically by default, we need to put the settings into the XML settings themselves. I am using the recommended setup by having data underscore my company underscore own under the folder C Archiframe. The settings for the planks are in file Archiframe blocks changes .xml. I used material 42 by 198, so that is the one to edit now. Let's copy and paste the settings block from another material and edit it. This is now a placeholder. We need to find out what are the parameter names and values that we need to set. To do that, let's go to ArchiCAD and open the ArchiFrame plank object. First, the thing that we changed was the ID generation text, so let's find it using the GDL editor's search field. This is the internal name of the parameter that we need to use in the XML file. I'll copy it and paste it to blockchanges.xml. The value we copied from the manual, so let's do that again to the XML. Then copy paste the setting to be the next placeholder. We set the frame type to be frame rectangle set by number two. Let's copy this variable name. Since there's a third parameter to be set, I'll copy the empty placeholder. The frame rectangle value was two. Then we set the ID frame rectangle fill pen to white again. We don't know its number yet, so let's leave the value empty for now. Then we will also set the 3D surface material, and that is a standard ArchiCAD setting for objects, not an object parameter. It is set in the LM param XML tag, and let's see the options we have for it from the online manual. Let's first copy and paste the XML setting line to the blockchanges.xml. Then find out the material setting XML attribute name and copy and paste it as well. Then we need to enter the value exactly as it is in ArchiCAD. It is best copied from the attribute manager. I will copy it from here and then I'll paste it here. Then let's see the pen number we selected for the ID background. That's 19. Now I save this file and reload the settings. A newly placed plank will now use the settings we have entered. Let's look at everything in 3D. So here you can see that we have the 3D surface material and some set object parameters. Please note that the same technique works also for ArchiFrame board and ArchiFrame element objects as well.